Thank you, Madam Chairman. Commissioner, well, I suppose at last there is a recognition of the crucial importance of the social pillar in words, but unfortunately not yet in deeds. Commissioner Andor said last January that the social dimension of the EMU was crucial for the legitimacy of the European project and that proper functioning and public acceptance of the EMU can only be guaranteed if steps to strengthen discipline, legitimacy and solidarity are taken simultaneously. That is true. But those steps have not been taken simultaneously. Yes, we've heard lots about fiscal discipline, but solidarity and legitimacy must ring very hollow to those whose bank deposits were raided in Cyprus, or to Greek unemployed citizens now who have no access to health care, or to the millions of young people across Europe who are unemployed. So the language is right, but what about the deeds? What progress are we making? I look, for example, at what's happening with the Globalisation Fund, where there is still a blocking minority in council, a fund to help redundant workers retrain and upskill has already been cut to the bone in budget negotiations and we're trying to get agreement to move it forward but there's none i look at the fund food aid for the deprived again a blocking minority in council up to 40 million people across europe are facing or experiencing some type of food poverty that's their real everyday lives it's incredible and I can't believe that some members of the Council will say to you, EU citizens, we won't fund this programme. This is the responsibility of the Member States. What does that say about the European social model? Uh, and also, if we look at the youth guarantee at the moment, again, disagreement about uh, its inclusion in the social fund. It's only a recommendation. Uh, and what does that say to all of the young people that are unemployed across the EU? So the European institutions are not working together to solve these problems. Yes, as I said, Commissioner, the language is right. You said we must do what it takes to deal with unemployment. But there is, if you look at what's happening right now, there is a huge gap between our words and our deeds. Merci, Madame Arkin. La